Okay, I got another video for you. And, uh... Well, I'll ask you about singing class number. Yeah. Are you... I think this guy's name is Don Shipley. Um, I don't know much about him. Uh, I'm going to say retired Navy and um, was a SEAL. The thing is, what he does is he, I guess he bothers people and calls them stolen valor, accuses them of stolen valor. Sometimes people check with them to see if somebody was in the military or not. Um, I don't know, but he does accuse people of stolen valor a lot, and he calls them. Uh, three, four, seven. But, um... Three, four, seven? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, what's your name again? It's Don Shipley. Oh, okay. What SEAL team were you at when all this took place? I actually didn't get hurt in the Navy. Um, I was out of the Navy when I got hurt. I was I was a general manager of a restaurant and fell and got hurt. What so, SEAL team were you stationed with? Oh, I was in World Creek. Well, we flew out of HCA, which is the helicopter squadron in Norfolk. Yeah, great. So, what uh, what team was that? A two. SEAL Team Two. Yeah, if I if I was attached to a team, you know, I was always attached to a team before. So. You were attached to HCA. Okay, I don't, I don't know this guy, but I guess he calls people up and asks them a lot of questions. Now he's calling up a lot of jacked up people. Okay. And um, there's a lot of people that claim to be in the military that weren't. Uh, that does happen. Uh, if you want to see military impersonators, go to the airport, um, Atlanta specifically. I mean, you see impersonators all over the place. You'll see them about every 15 minutes. You ought to run into one. But anyway, uh, I don't know this jackass. And I'm surprised, you know, I guess one of these days he's going to call me and say, Stolen Valor, Stolen Valor. Um I went to war three times, okay? I did Afghanistan, I did Iraq. I paid my dues, and I owe this guy nothing. Somebody calls me up and starts questioning me about my military. Go to hell. Screw you. I got nothing to say to you, and I'm not going to prove that I did what I did, okay? All I'm going to say is I paid my dues. I did my part. End of story, okay? Now, I think his thing is what? Phony Navy SEAL of the Week. Well, I was never in the Navy, and I'm never claimed to be a SEAL. I mean, if you see me wearing trident wings, it's probably for a movie or an audition to a movie or something like that. But uh, no, I'm not going to say I was in the Navy because I wasn't. Um, but anyway, this guy, he bothers a lot of people and everything like that. Now, if we're going to start talking about phonies and stolen valor... Uh, Let's take another look at another guy. Now, you got to understand what a liar uh, Chris Kyle is, okay? First of all, I don't believe they were all clean. Second of all, I don't believe they all existed. He says, oh, 160 were confirmed in that ballpark. Uh, but in reality, I killed 250 because I'm such a superhero. I'm such a great guy. He then later said that when he got back home, that he was on top of the Superdome, and he shot over 30 looters during Hurricane Katrina. <laughs> What a preposterous lie. How stupid are you if you believe that? Second of all, if you do believe it, he should have been locked up immediately. We don't execute looters. There was nobody on the Superdome. There wasn't a sniper on the Superdome, you idiots, you morons that believe in this horse shit, okay? And, and if there was, you think nobody noticed the freaking sniper on the Superdome killing 30 people? He said there was a car, two carjackers trying to get him, but he's a tough guy. He's brave. He's... And then so he shot them both, boom, 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 and killed them both. Uh, any documentation to that? Of course not. Any evidence to that? Of course not. Did anybody investigate just two dead people on the side of the road? Did anybody look into it? Of course not, because it didn't happen. Jesse Ventura, he said, oh, you got to know, bar fight with him and punched him, knocked him out. <laughs> he's so tough, he's an American hero. Except he never saw Jesse Ventura. How do I know that? Jesse Ventura sued his estate and won over $1.8 million dollars. His wife is, he's considered a, a, a war hero. The jury's not going to want to give uh, $1.8 million to Jesse Ventura for suing him. His wife, Chris Kyle's wife, goes on there, she's crying on the stand, and the jury goes, yeah, yeah, that's all good and fine. But he never met Jesse Ventura. He never got into a fight with Ventura. He made the whole thing up, and he said... Okay, now there's a guy calling someone out for stolen valor or lying, stuff like that. Um, this guy's dead on. 
This Shipley guy, I, I don't know who he calls, just Joe Shit the Rag Man. I don't know what he's doing. But uh, Uger actually called it out pretty hardcore. Chris Kyle, um, yep. deadliest sniper in American history, author of American Sniper, the best selling book, which Is became. Uh, Is he the deadliest sniper in American history? Okay, well, that's how he's regarded. No, um, no, that's what he alleges. Okay. Um, I don't know if he is or not, but he wrote a chapter on me that's a complete fabricated lie. So he, to give that context, you know, said in the book that he punched, you know, somebody at a bar, later said publicly that person was you. What was your reaction when you first heard that? Well, I was in Mexico off the grid, so I couldn't react to it. I heard about it from an email from my son, and I had to contact Alex Jones, my friend in Texas, to defend me. I was out of the country. Timing was perfect on it, wasn't it? And right after I left the country, so I couldn't defend myself. The story is a complete fabricated lie. I did what you're supposed to do. Go to court, put people under oath, and prove it. We proved it. Okay. Um, yeah, if you want to talk about stolen valor and bullshit military stories, I'm going to say uh, Chris Kyle. And... Uh, but anyway, the problem I have with this guy, uh, Shipley, um, I, I don't know what the heck he is. I mean, uh, he, he just calls out everybody, and a lot of people get accused of stolen valor, falsely accused, and that's where I have a problem with Shipley, um, and I hope he doesn't call me, oh, name your class number, name this, name that. Uh, there's a lot of things I won't remember because it happened a while ago, but... Um, there was an incident at Walmart many years ago where a guy uh, wore his uniform. He was a Vietnam veteran. I think he was about 70 years old, give or take. Anyway, he got the hell beaten out of him because somebody accused him of stolen valor. Turns out he was a war veteran. Now, here's another guy. He's kind of jacked up. Of course he's jacked up, but here's the problem. He was wearing a uniform, a military uniform, that a lot of people thought was fake. But it turns out... Okay, I admit this guy is jacked up, okay? I mean, his name tag's on the wrong pocket. There's a lot of violations there. That cord's... I mean, this guy's jacked up. I get it. He did serve in the military. Ken is anchor, Lindsay Pena, in the newsroom. I'm curious as to what you found out. Yeah, and a lot of people thought this guy was impersonating a member of the military, but he did, in fact, serve in the Army. His okay, my dad, um, he actually wore the Purple Heart... Um, Ribbon pin on the long, wrong lapel of his uh, suit jacket. Yeah, my dad earned two purple hearts, and damn if he didn't put it on the wrong lapel. Stolen valor. Stolen valor. And let me tell you something. This guy that got beaten up at Walmart, he was in a Class A uniform, but he had his DD-214 with him. Did that matter? Hell no. No, so if somebody comes up and says, stolen valor, you're in a fight. If Shipley calls me and starts accusing me and starts saying, well, what's this? Well, name this. Who's your drill sergeant? Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. Uh, we're in an argument. It's that simple. Okay, so you ought to realize that, yeah, people are going to bother you. And um, I, I don't know. That's just the way it is. I will wear the military pants occasionally because I feel like putting on some pants. I like the pants. Or I might put on a jacket if it's cold. Oh, you're putting on snivel gear. I, I got nothing to prove. I did three combat tours. I got nothing to prove to any of these bums. Name, Mark Dominguez. It took us a little while to confirm that information because the incident happened on Friday, which was the observed day of Veterans Day. Now, according to the military, Dominguez served as a private first class from February 2003 until August of 2004. We're also told he was awarded the National Defense Service Medal, Army Service Ribbon, and Global War on Terrorism Service Medal. I want to show you some video from last yeah, week. Yeah, there he Dominguez is. He got... was arrested in the gas lamp on Friday wearing the... I don't know why he'd wear his uniform after uh, getting out of the service, but who knows? Uniform that sparked so much controversy. Police say he got into a heated argument with a group of active military and vets who pointed out some issues with that uniform. They said he was missing a patch and displaying his rank upside down. Now, the argument Yeah, that guy's jacked up for sure. Escalated and Dominguez allegedly pulled a knife and stabbed one of them multiple times. 
The victim was taken to the hospital, but is expected to be okay. As for Dominguez, he has an arraignment hearing scheduled for Wednesday. He remains in jail. His bail has been set at 30000 Okay, uh, the guy's jacked up, but he did get falsely accused of stolen valor. Now, me personally, I don't put on the damn... Uh, I mean, I'm not going to put on the uniform. I mean, I retired, and that's the last of it, you know? Um, oh, wait. Is this stolen valor? Looks like a uniform to me. And as far as I know, I don't think this guy was really in the Marine Corps. Looks like he's got a Navy cross and a scuba and some jump wings or something. Uh, here's another guy. I don't believe this guy was actually an artillery colonel. Could have been. But um, now, now here's another one here. Now, notice that on the left, he's wearing an Army uniform. He's a lieutenant colonel, and oh, yeah, looks like he's with the cavalry, but he's a lieutenant colonel. But now, same guy, only this time he's in the Marine Corps, Silver Star, and uh, lieutenant colonel. I don't believe that Robert Duvall was both an Army lieutenant colonel and a Marine Corps lieutenant colonel. Stolen Valor! Stolen Valor! I mean, that, that's the problem I have with these guys. I mean, they're always falsely accusing people. I mean, even if... I mean, if they're so big on Stolen Valor, why aren't they at the airport calling people out? Because, I mean, you, you're tripping over people. All right? But anyway, uh, I hope I don't get a call from Shipley. And if I do, uh, Shipley, let me just say this. Uh, we can talk about something other than Stolen Valor. Um... I don't have a lot of claims to make except that I did pay my dues and I'm out, you know. I'm out of the military. It's, you know, I mean, that's all I can say. But anyway, uh, I don't go around looking for people to accuse of stolen valor. I don't really care. And by the way, the Stolen Valor Act was rescinded. Um, anyway, uh yeah, you wear your pants to Walmart, just the pants, nothing else. And they'll say, stolen valor. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I just, uh, not my cup of tea, not my way of uh, worrying about these things. Anyway, um, if you're worried about stolen valor, I, I keep thinking of Chris Kyle. I mean, there's the epitome of stolen valor if there ever was one. Although Chris Kyle was in the Navy and he was a SEAL, uh, and SEALs, really, when it comes to backing each other up, they don't seem to do a good job at all. I mean, look what they did to Jesse Ventura. All right, I don't have an exit uh, like all the others, like, uh, what is his name? Team Skeptic. This is Team Skeptic, and I'm out. Or Jesus Loves You, so do I. I don't have any of that. Uh, what are some of the other ones? Oh, Amazing Atheist has a pretty good one, too. Anyway, I just decided to post this video just because I decided to post a video.